How do you celebrate Utah's outdoor recreation? How about joining Rhea and me as we visit the state capital of Utah for the country's first ever official outdoor recreation day? Then, Team AYL is hitting the desert links as we head south to participate in the Eagles Landing annual charity golf tournament in support of veterans. Finally, Reed Stein escapes all the winter weather with a secluded but beautiful hike through the Santa Clara River Reserve in Washington County. It's all headed your way right now. At Your Leisure is next. Okay, I got a riddle for you. When does outdoors and indoors equal the same thing? I know. Yeah. Outdoor Recreation Day at the Utah State Capitol. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Maria Rossi Booth, and that is exactly where we are today. Uh, it's just a wonderful event that they have uh, celebrating all the beauties of Utah and all the wonderful things you can do here. That's right. You know, the, uh, the governor a few years ago was smart enough to develop a an office of outdoor recreation separate from tourism because outdoor recreation is the backbone of Utah's tourism industry and uh, it has since grown it's become very important it has a lot of programs and I guess if you wanted to find out what kind of commitment the state has to outdoor recreation we should talk to the guy at the top this is not only the first time this has happened here in our capital, but it's the first time it's happened in the nation. So we're really thrilled to be celebrating here in Utah and talking about outdoor recreation with our legislators. You know, you're going to see a lot of the industry, not just the industry that you might be focused on as a user, right? You might be interested in love OHV and I might love climbing and skiing, but it's much greater than just those two sports. Here today, we have Easton Archery, we have Browning, we have OHV, we have Jaybird Headphones, we have REI, we have so many industries within the outdoor industries represented here, and that's what we want to portray, is that this is much bigger than just the one sports that you and I might partake in. You know, we want people to recognize that these outdoor industry businesses that are here really love Utah. They want to support Utah, they want to see legislation that supports their businesses, supports recreation, and really supports a great quality of life for all of us, because we're not only businesses, but we are residents here, and we want to love where we live. We had an incredible successful legislative session two years ago and we created the Utah Outdoor Recreation Grant and counties all over the state are asking us for support to build more recreation infrastructure. And in the last four years, we've funded 19 different activities. So you name it, we've probably funded everything from boat ramps to OHV trails to mountain bike trails to independent climbing features in Moab and everything in between. So, lots of opportunities there and we hope to fund every single county in the state and right now we've funded 22 of the 24 counties that have applied and so we're really trying to help those counties that want recreation to put it in and to make a great application too. You know we were the first office of outdoor recreation in the nation and I was just asked to celebrate and talk about our office at the Western Governors Association in Hawaii and my intro speech to them was before I got here I went skiing at Brighton, skied 3,000 feet of vertical, went climbing at the climbing gym and was in Kona by 7.30. You just can't do that anywhere in the nation. Oh hey you got that honey? Ooh, let, make that happen. Woo! Hey, nice job. <laughs> you know, Tom Adams is right. There are so many outdoor things you can do out here in Utah and so diverse. You got outdoor sports, you got indoor sports, indoor sports, going outdoors, like this one, archery. That's right. So the Easton Foundation is a nonprofit set up by the Easton family who actually build and manufacture archery equipment here in the state of Utah with the idea that people who uh, are at expert level had to start somewhere and so the foundation helps get people the experiences and the opportunities to get into archery. And they have held the Olympic archery out here in Salt Lake. The, the World Cup finals have been right here. So, cool. so that is just truly the story of the spirit of Utahns where they not only walk the walk, they talk the talk. Yeah, again. Well, now we got to go to our where to segment, so check this out. Has the bleak, dreary winter chill set in so hard that you're afraid if you smile, your face will shatter? Is the winter world around you so drab that even the NBC peacock only shows up in shades of gray? Do you keep having a reoccurring dream that you're stopped in a never-ending traffic blizzard 
and your spirits are caught in the slushy lane? Well, then cheer up. What you need is a big dose of sunshine, a bright orange sunset, a blanket of green, a little goodwill, a bundle of charity, and 18 little white cups in the ground, which is what you'll find at the annual Eagles Landing Veterans Charity Golf Tournament held each February in Mesquite, Nevada. The idea was hatched by Mark and Katie Yardley of High Country Fuels, who own the Eagles Landing Travel Plazas. The veteran cause is near and dear to the Yardley's heart and on their minds almost daily. Mark's grandfather served in the U.S. Cavalry and his uncle was a member of the famed Green Berets. Two of his brothers have served and his nephew is playing in the tournament today and still serves in the National Guard. Among the compliments of players pouring out onto the course for today's shotgun start are platoons of like-minded Eagles Landing employees, vendors and veterans eager to shake off winter for a good cause. We receive a lot of the proceeds from this and it goes to help the families of National Guard uh, soldiers, airmen and their families. And so we look forward to this event every year and uh, haven't played golf for about three months, so it's fun to come down here and kind of get the rust out. Eyes squint, clubs quiver, grass flies, and balls sail as the projectiles arc downrange like a battery of cannon fire. The warm, glowing sun limbers up winter's chilling stiffness, and the charitable cause warms the hearts of the players. For each, the day holds something memorable. My favorite part of the day is playing with my husband and our two sons. My favorite part was how many balls we lost, I think. <laughs> My favorite part of this event is always meeting uh, the people who want to help our charity and being around all the people that are so supportive of uh, the military. First time at the event, I would have to say yes. We had a great time, good team, good team. So we will definitely be back next year. The day wraps up at the 19th hole with a spread fit for a commanding officer and a heartfelt thanks for getting the Yardleys closer to their goal. We have several people who have really worked hard to make that this tournament happen. Uh, a lot of them are employees that worked with us. If everybody could, let's give everybody a hand that's helped. The long-term objective is to raise $50,000 annually for veterans and police organizations in Utah and Southern Nevada and Eagles Landing helped close that gap by matching dollar for dollar every penny earned at this charity tournament. Mark Yardley and all his employees at Eagles Landing uh, really go out of their way to help uh, all our service members and they're great people and, and uh, we just don't have enough good to say about them. We would, we'd love to have everybody help us grow to make this a, a huge event. The event is planned again for the first week of February next year. I'm Joe Davis for At Your Leisure. Hi, I'm Nolan Stedman. And I'm Bruce Stedman. We have been selling motorcycles like this since 1960. Motorcycles have been part of our family forever. We love riding and enjoying the outdoors, everything that Utah has to offer. Riding motorcycles, snowmobiles, ATVs, and now side-by-sides. That's what we do, it's who we are. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. We've been proudly serving Utah's families for over 50 years. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out there, but remember, it's only 30 back. Wide open terrain, a full tank of gas, and someone to share it with. Perfect conditions to showcase our first ever Talon 1000R. Standing at nearly 69 inches wide, it's built for speed over rugged terrain. From rock crawl ravines to dry lake beds, dunes, and the miles of trail connecting them all. That's how life is better side by side. In the all new Talon 1000R. From Honda. My daughter and I had just finished a run at this place called Eagle Point. It's this really cool but kind of challenging ski resort that has a real family feel to it. She was so excited because she beat me down the run. 
Deja vu. I saw myself as a kid out skiing my mom. It was a big moment for me. And all of a sudden it hit me. I was making the same memories for her. Beaver County, Utah. Make it more than a vacation. This week's What's New segment is brought to you by Tunex of South Jordan and West Valley. More than just tune-ups, we're off-road. Alrighty, welcome back to At Your Leisure. What are we doing today, Bill? We're doing Dutch oven spaghetti in our cast iron Dutch ovens today. Right now we've got, uh, got some spicy sausage, Ooh. we've got some ground beef. Uh, this is not ready yet. We've added oh, some other items like let's put in our onions right now. Oh, yeah. You know, it's really important to measure these exactly. You see, it looks like it, yeah. And garlic. And then we're not going to use all the uh, the fats and the grease. We're going to use a paper towel. Okay. And see it, all this fat here? Yes. We don't want to eat that, do we? I don't know. It smells pretty tasty. Yeah, but it clogs <laughs> the arteries oh, pretty tasty okay. too. It, it looks like you're sucking up all the flavor. Well, we'll add some more flavor too. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and some celery Clinton. <laughs> That's my only political joke of the day. Let's put a little Mrs. Dash, no, well, not Mrs. Dash, this is real salt. Real salt. You know where real salt comes from? I do not, tell me. It comes from Redmond, Utah. It's mined out of the ground from an ancient uh, sea here in uh, in Utah and then taken up to Heber City and uh, processed up there. Salt and pepper to taste. Did you taste it? Not yet. I hope I get to later. Stir this in. I'm going to bring those... Uh, Cans of spaghetti over here. I'd love to. Let's just dump one at a time. Let's add another seasoning. This is Tuscan uh, Tuscan garlic. Yum. We're gonna add a little bit of this to it. Now the Dutch oven is like a pressure cooker. See how it's got a good seal? And when the heat builds up, the pressure builds up and out comes the aroma when it reaches the proper temperature. And the aroma triggers your timer. You know what your timer is? Your nose. Okay. Yeah, we're basically done. All right. Meat. We don't have enough paper towels to soak up all that water, so we're going to actually you know, pour it off. How is it? That's good. Let's add a little bit of sugar to it, and we're just going to sprinkle a little bit in. So is that your secret ingredient, sugar? What? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. If I have it available, I do. Now. Oh, right in there, huh? I think I like it your way. Dump it in and mix it. All right, so do you think the spaghetti's ready? Oh, I think so. All oh, right. look How's at that. that. All right. Cheers. Okay. Now what we need to do, you ever done the arm lock? No, I haven't, but I think we can get it. Okay. Okay. And just interlock ready? like so. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. How's that? Until I get a little sugar in there, huh? That is so good. All right, well, this spaghetti was awesome, and we will be back with more At Your Leisure right after this commercial break. Trail to the heart of the backcountry. Discover that ski do feeling with the 2019 Ski Do Trail and Crossover Sleds. Wide open terrain, a full tank of gas, and someone to share it with. Perfect conditions to showcase our first ever Talon 1000R. Standing at nearly 69 inches wide, it's built for speed over rugged terrain. From rock crawl ravines to dry lake beds, dunes, and the miles of trail connecting them all. That's how life is better side by side in the all-new Talon 1000R from Honda.
Kawasaki Mule side-by-sides are some of the toughest machines around. Work hard or play hard. With the new Mule Pro MX, you don't have to choose. It's about having the right machine to fit the way you live. And it's about strength. The all-new Mule Pro MX, the strongest, because I said so. Conquer the summit and catch that ski doo feeling with the 2019 Ski Doo Mountain Sleds. Welcome back to After Leisure, everybody. We oh. are at the Outdoor Recreation really, Day up here on the really hill. Bad. Chad's trying to shoot some hoops. I'm better. <laughs> he's, he's really trying. Better at archery, okay. <laughs> yeah, anyway. You know, honey, you use one hand. We are. And that's how it's done. That's how it's done. <laughs> we are over at the Lifetime Display, which is Thank another you. local outdoor company. Lifetime is up in Clearfield, and they I, make all I kinds of dribble. picnic <laughs> products. They make kayaks, all kinds of roto molded plastic stuff. Durable, They're great stuff. Durable, great stuff. And their worldwide headquarters is right up in Clearfield, Utah. Oh, well, I was getting closer. Well, you know, if you're going to be if you're going to be recreating the outdoors, you want to make it here. That's true. I mean, I would. <laughs> well, and and what a great state uh, yeah. to do outdoor recreation. And in fact, let's find out why people recreate in Utah. My favorite thing to do, and it's such a shocker, is ski tour in the morning. Like, I have three boys, I love them to death, and I try to spend as much time with them as I can, so my time usually ends up between five in the morning and eight o'clock, and I can go out and ski three, 4,000 feet of vertical in the morning and come to work, and people are wondering, what did you do this morning? And, did you really ski this morning? Can you do it that well, or that fast? And we can here, and that's pretty special to take advantage of. Why is Utah such a great state for outdoor recreation? Well, because I, I like to say when God created Utah, he was showing off. I, I mean, it's, it's just unbelievable from, from the tops of our mountains to the, you know, the, the bottom of our ravines in southern Utah. It's, it's just gorgeous. What do you like to do for outdoor recreation? Oh my gosh, there's so many great things to do, but I love hiking and there are so many hiking trails right out of the back door of my house. I just head up the hill and start hiking and it's the best. What's your favorite thing to do outdoors? Well, first of all, I have uh, it's definitely from. the ski. Oh. I mean, I'm from Where? Connecticut, so just all the geography out here and mountains just brought me out. It's pretty, it's, you can't think of a better place to be, honestly. I mostly spend my time fishing, hiking. We've got so much uh, diverse um, locations. I mean, you have everything from sandstone to beautiful pine tree forests and everything in between. So it just depends on where you want to go and what you want to do. If you want to do uh, uh, side-by-sides, um, you know, something like this is going to be, you know, your best bet. Tons of uh, technological innovations, um, you know, half of them have iPads in them now, um, whereas before there was like nothing, you know, you had some light switches and that was basically it. And there you have it. That's why camping is such a great lifestyle, but I don't get it. We get distracted with B-roll for one second and Kyle's got Rhea off inside trying to sell her on this trailer. Rhea, Rhea, come out of that trailer. We can't buy one this week. Stop talking to Kyle. Do not sign a contract. Okay, I got a little, I got a little work to do inside right now, but uh, it's time for you to see our Along the Way segment. I'm Reese Stein at your leisure along the way near St. George in a fantastic protected area of spectacular desert beauty and a human history dating back a thousand years. Back by the spectacular Red Cliffs, the Santa Clara River Reserve south of Old Highway 91 offers 6,500 acres of pristine desert solitude. The mild, usually dry climate makes for an ideal midwinter escape. It's wonderful. In winter, you're out doing this and seeing this kind of beautiful scenery. We love it down here in the winter. The reserve has 37 miles of trails for hiking, biking, and horseback riding, much through lush stands of creosote, sagebrush, and cactus. R.J. Tippett and his three-year-old beagle Hooty roam the reserve almost every day. Yeah, you have no qualms about hiking on a trail named Upper Graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Lower Graveyard. <laughs> The Tempe Poop Trail heads up to the edge of a dramatic cliff with some of the most unusual rock art in a state loaded with unusual rock art. Here on Land Hill, most of the petroglyphs are on horizontal surfaces as opposed to the majority of all other sites, whether on vertical surfaces or rock faces. And walking around here, you'll see 
On the vertical faces, there's very little, if any, riding at all. It's almost all on the horizontal surfaces. An easy mile walk from the Anasazi Trailhead, the high rim is covered with petroglyphs, much of it on flat rock surface, but there is some on the vertical faces. I think it's really neat, the pictures. I don't know what they mean, but it was probably a while back, like Native American time back. I don't even know how to describe it. It's the, the view's like, it's beautiful, and they have really neat pictographs, and I think it's pretty cool that they're still here after like thousands of years. It can be a bit of a scramble along the cliff edge to find the better glyphs. Kim and Paul Barden live in nearby St. George, but had never been here. I think it's pretty amazing. I've been on a lot of ha nature hikes with uh, schools and stuff, but I've never been able to see petroglyphs. I've been dinosaur tracks and everything else, but this is pretty amazing. Far below the cliff, Eric, not so close. The Santa Clara River carves its way through the valley. The broad, flat, family-friendly ghost trail follows the river. We met up with Reed Searle and his grandkids on this three mile out and back. You like going hiking with Grandpa? Yeah. Why? Because I get to enjoy nature. What did you see out here? I get to see a beautiful, I get to see a lot of beautiful stuff. That beautiful stuff includes rock art high above, lush riparian vegetation, fantastic rock formations on the canyon rim, and playground rocks for the kids below. Did you get to climb around on the rocks? Yes. Is that fun? Yeah. To protect the fragile desert and rock art, the reserve is limited to non-motorized vehicles. Almost all the trails are open to mountain bikes with a variety of challenges. It's pretty uh, beautiful, especially in the spring. We've kind of been in awe this year at the blooms out here in the uh, springtime on the desert. We've been riding for a little while and, and sometimes we might underestimate what, it, what the ride would be like for a, a newcomer. but. But I think it, there's trails, several trails here that would suit any skill level of rider. The Santa Clara River Reserve is a favorite with locals because few visitors have yet to discover the area. <laughs> this is my therapy to hike the hills with my dog. Therapy for? Brain cancer. Really? Yes. Yeah. I'll show you the scar. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, look at that. I live in Ivins, Utah. So you're right here. Right here. This is your backyard. That is my backyard. What do you like about it? Yeah, look at my backyard. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> um, I love it because it's, you know, you're just wide open. You don't see that many people. So if you're looking for some seclusion in rapidly growing Washington County, check out the Santa Clara River Reserve. <laughs> don't tell anybody. Restine along the way in southern Utah. From the trail to the heart of the backcountry, discover that ski doo feeling with the 2019 Ski Doo Trail and Crossover Sleds. There's a little place on a Utah map where I was raised, where my heart's at, where the sagebrush grows wild and high, and the stars come out at night. In the basin with the youth reservation, skin starvation, that Duchesne County life. Shows over, over, but deals are still on at both Paris RV locations. Check out these red hot deals: a 2019 Rockwood 1640 LTD, only 8,295 or $99 a month, zero down. Or 2019 Salem 177 FSX BH Bunkhouse, only 14,995 or 165 a month, zero down. Or a 2020 Attitude 19 FB, only 24,995 or 265 a month, zero down. You won't find a selection like this anywhere else. Only at Paris RV.
for the summit and catch that Ski-Doo feeling with the 2019 Ski-Doo Mountain Sleds. Okay, Rio, what does that picture make you think of? The Utah State Capitol. No, no, no. Yeah, that's <laughs> good. That's what it is. But <laughs> what I see is this is the outdoor capital of the world. Oh, that's good. There you go. You, that's why you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We've had a great time up here at Outdoor Recreation Day at the Utah State Capitol, and we found out so much. I mean, think of all the things people do, all the lists of activities. Yeah, I know. It's just you can do multiple things in one day. <laughs> All year round. That's true. You and know. you even end up in Kona. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, as Tom said, right? Yeah. So, uh, you know, in, in honor of that, and the fact that there's so many different things to do, isn't it time that you started making some plans? We've got some ideas for you. Let's check out our calendar of events. Coming up on March 1st and 2nd is the Salt Lake Off-Road Expo at the Mountain America Expo Center. Then on March 13th through the 16th is the Tri-State OHVA TV Jamboree down in Hurricane. Now it's time for us to take a look at our contest winner. This week's winner was submitted to us on Facebook by Joanna Jacobson Roth. Congratulations, Joanna. You just won a weekend stay at the one and only magnificent Daniel Summit Lodge. And you also are the first contestant to win a $100 gas and gift card from Eagles Landing Travel Plazas. Now, this is the place where you get that magnificent 91-octane ethanol-free fuel, Clear 91. Be sure to call us at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Now, finally, it's time to take a look at next week's show. Next week, we're headed off to warmer weather as we take a trip down to Mesquite to camp and ride through the desert with Brett and Dory Paris from Paris RV. Then, we head back to the snow for a fun-filled weekend of family festivities at the Bryce Canyon Winter Festival. Finally, we're headed up to Park City to check out a free world-class ski and snowboard competition that is sure to be excitement for the whole family. Well, next week's show looks fantastic. It does. And it's not just because we're in it. <laughs> That's actually the least exciting part of the no, show. <laughs> you know what looks great about next week's shows is because we get to be outdoors doing stuff all over again. And that's what I love about our job and our life here in Utah. And, and we can bring you folks out there in TV land to come out and enjoy it every that's day. That's right. For all of you who are watching us outside the state, and I know, I know who you are, <laughs> come on out. We'll show you a good time. Oh, we love, we just love crowds. Come with us. Yep. Yeah, and just to kind of motivate you, we are going to end the show by leaving you some pictures of all the different things you can do here in Utah. That's right. So as we always say, there's adventure around every band. You just got to get out there and create your own adventure in at, Utah. <laughs> at your leisure. <laughs>